Welcome back, my CFM family. Week seven, our right, Eagles franchise here. We got the Vikings this week, and we got some big players coming off of injury, coming returning from injury. Malcolm Jenkins, Pro Bowl safety, plays free safety and strong safety. We got him everywhere. He is back, 93 overall. He was sorely missed, even though the defense was playing lights out. Still, it's always great having a playmaker back there at the safety position especially with a heavy zone team like we are let's go ahead and sort the roster out and see uh make sure we get them the right for this right spot uh we moved them initially it's kind of weird they had them in at strong safety and uh ronnie mcleod at free safety so i changed their position and swapped them back got jenkins in there at the starting free safety again mcleod at the starting strong safety let's see who else is back with injury kendall james a cornerback that we picked up one of our sleepers we didn't have him on sleepers list, but he is a big sleeper. This dude is nice. He was recommended by somebody in the comments after, but I already had picked him up, but he's, he's dude's nice. Now, even though he's 68 overall, don't look at the overall, not a big difference. Six foot, 90 speed, 91 acceleration, 92 agility. Uh, not that strong. Play rec, we're working on that. 84 man coverage, 78 zone. This is a guy that's just off the waiver wire, free agent market, like no one, I just picked him up. Threw him in there. 62 press. We can work on that. The uh, decent catching was 64. So I um, mean, we got to see where we're gonna put him because we've been working uh, with the the secondary that we have has been has been playing. I mean, they're not great, you know, but rated wise, they've been playing really get great. Uh, we you know we try to scheme the guys up and and don't put them in one on one one on one situations. Like to have safety help over the top and uh, help those guys out. So um, you can see his stats right here. He is a legit good corner i mean unless you know philly doesn't have a really good corner so he can pretty much start or be in a nickel uh position here but i mean other teams he definitely will at least get break the top three top four of your cornerbacks if you pick him up so let's see what well, we don't we, we had the fan favorite jalen mills we have the uh team sgo favorite jalen mills that you guys recommended that i start and he's played big time has some real big interceptions some returns in of that in a previous episode check that out so it's like do we go with the fan favorite jalen mills or uh james i'm like ah so we got sanders starting and carol is the you know the highest rated guy he's not really fast but he's overall a good solid uh run supporting corner so we, we like his stats here so he's not super fast like i said but 81 man coverage 77 zone uh decent play rack just a good overall corner let's see i mean uh, let's see what we're gonna do oh uh, man um let's see carol james i'm just looking at the differences between james and Jalen mills Jalen mills his man coverage is ooh 70 man coverage 77 zone ah uh, we gotta <laughs> i mean gotta, gotta get james in there <laughs> we gotta put james over Jalen because i mean the coverage differences i mean they're both 60 overall so we're gonna we're gonna go with that and uh like i said we have malcolm jenkins McClay it there. Even the, the Eagles backup strong safeties are Jalen, dude, Jalen Watkins is legit. 91 speed, uh, 87 agility, 73 strength, 69 play recognition. We can work on that. 76 man coverage, 83 zone. I mean, just as good as the starter. I mean, this dude is just probably why we didn't miss too much of a beat with Malcolm uh, Jenkins being out because uh, Watkins was able to, to step right in there uh, and fill that position. So, I mean, I, I, I like the depth that we have in our secondary, even though they're not rated high. We got some uh, solid guys in there. Let's see, we got a big decision, early return, injury return. But Kyle Kendricks, do you want to bring him back? Injury rating will go to 95 to 80. Stamina will go down. Strength rating will go down. Uh, upper arm fracture is a high chance of re-injury uh, for this one here. Uh, or we could just keep uh, uh, Nigel, bring, uh, bring him back. And uh, keep him there as a starter. So which one are we going to go through? Let's see here. Strength rating will drop to a 76 to a 64 while injured. I really love this feature to have in the game here. They actually make you like really feel like guys can come back early. And you can take that little gamble. Make that decision. And we start the backup. You have your player play through the injury. We're going to go ahead and start the backup. Because uh, we've been playing really great. How we have the linebackers set up right now. It hasn't been a big deal on defense. We've definitely been able to play without those top guys so why bring him back and have him a chance to get early injured early so we have another big decision let's see on the contract steven Tellick is up for a contract Jalen Watkins, and we already uh, declined Tellick. we're going to try to uh trade him and move him there because he's older and uh he's not that fast so um he actually is a backup now 
But Jalen Walker, like I showed you guys earlier, man, this dude is a definite sleeper here at, at uh, safety, 5'11". I like safety a little bit taller, but he still has good speed. Uh, so we're going to offer him, a, um, we, you know, for me, I'm not really stingy when it comes to the money part. So, you know, I, I usually give guys what they ask for, maybe even a little bit more. I don't like going back and forth or whatever. I'm, I'm usually pretty smart with the money, but I just hate, you know, risking a chance, save a couple, uh, you know, a few dollars and you risk you don't get a player. So we really like Gene Watkins. We believe that he can be a starter one day. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make him offer there. And, and, and we, we got that lack locked in. We got him re-signed. Some of the other guys, Carroll, I'm going to wait on later in the season, see how he performs, and see if he drops down because he is the older corner. I don't want to sign up for a long-term deal, and then he falls off. So these guys are going to kind of leave, and we're going to, like I said, we're going to try to see if we can get uh, maybe in the season get a tra trade uh, Tulloch and get something of value because he is rated high, 84 overall. So hopefully we get somebody to bite on that, and then uh, we can get a trade for a position that we need. So let's get right into the game. We are matched up with the Vikings today, Minnesota Vikings versus the Eagles. Vikings don't have a great record, but like I always say, I don't sleep on anybody in the game at all. And we have the kickoff here. We kick off to the Vikings, and a ooh, nice move, nice return, gets it out. So we're gonna fast a little bit. We're gonna do more of a highlights this one this time, instead of giving the whole game start for start. And oh, we started off with a nice pick. Give me the user. Bum Gooden with the nice user, and we come out first to 10, and we're running the ball. Whoop! Oh, just barely takes it down. Smallwood. Smallwood's actually starting, as you guys have recommended. Oh, just bats the ball. Smallwood's starting uh, this year, so we're really trying to find a good running back. Haven't found that top running back that can do it all. Third and four, we're going to go with the run. The Vital, you know he's one of the favorites there. Fullback that I picked up with good speed. First and 10, Dixon, who's the power back, right up the middle. For a good game, second and three, we're coming out, and we're gonna go with the counter, and it's wide open. And Smallwood goes in for the touchdown. And you guys, one of the guys that you uh, recommended there, uh, Smallwood's in the starting line. Let's see, maybe he can carry the load. Hopefully, he can, he can rejuvenate, get the running game going. And we do like to run the ball. First and ten, AP on the outside, just trucking, and he gets taken down by three Philly defenders. Really got to game tackle this guy because he almost always breaks the first tackle. So we get him down. Third and two, and we're pressed up there. Oh, and yes, good defense. And we can get that ball knocked out there on third down, so he does have to punt. And so we get the ball there, and uh, we're up there fast forward a little bit there, and we're going to run a nice slant out, run down and out to Ertz for a touchdown. We noticed it was man coverage, audible to the uh, stick play there. And we like to stick play out of big and hit Ertz for a score. First and 10. Oh, look at the pick. We get another users down the sidelines. Good and, and he goes in for six. Oh, my goodness. His first pick six of the season. Good and has been killing it. Another guy we picked up just off the off the free agency and just been tearing it up. Allowed us to move uh, Tullock to the bench. He has been excelling at the middle lobby position because he has like 89 speed, crazy jump, crazy athleticism. And so look at the coverage there. And oh man, he just really got that off. We had guys there coming on the pass rush. Love this really pass rush so we don't have to cover that long. Third and three, right on the, oh wow, nice moves. He just truck it down, he's still going. Finally gets taken down. Holy cow, nice play. First and 10 after that nice, nice catch and run there. Just trucking through my defense. So we got a second five. We got Gooden. You know we got him usered up. Let's see, gets off the tackle and, and brings AP down short of a first down. Third and two, and we're coming up. And oh, wow. Ooh, he just barely drops that, drops the pass. You know, this year receivers do drop the pass if you get around them. If you if you, you get some bodies around there, that receiver, just even though he might get it in there, you he will drop the pass. If he's not a top receiver, if he's not possessing catching, he will drop it, which I do like that. It definitely plays more to the defensive hands as I'm a defensive guy. Definitely like that. So we're up early, 21-3 on the Vikings. And so we try to fit one in there. Oh, it should have been a big, really, really poor decision by Wentz on that play. Uh, third down, third and nine, motion a guy out. We're going to see if we can... Uh, maybe hit somebody in the seam or, or down the sideline. We got one-on-one -on -one coverage, 
and we try to oh what a poor decision on back-to-back -back passes really bad decision by me so we get stopped and we have to put the ball back to the vikings uh we're in control of the game but it's you know definitely not over we got some good coverage oh and look at Gooden again and with his third pick of the day comes out with another one was in deep coverage came up and played the short and we got Ertz. Oh, what is going on? His defense is just all out of position there. Hit him with a nice little short corner out for the touchdown. And so we're up 28-3 to on the Vikings. Uh, let's see. Can they get back in the game? I mean, really going to play safe and not sacrifice too much on D. Oh, I tried to come up on the short route, on the check down route, but uh, did not get there in time. So give me a little, like, crazy diving animation uh, when I'm trying to use it there. So we still got good in the middle, and you got a play action. Drop back over the middle, and we scrims down with it. Jenkins takes my interception away from me. Would have been the fourth of the game. Jenkins back his first game back from injury, and with a pick. And wait, hold on. And he's injured again. Are you serious? And that really basically takes it right into halftime. Good defensive play uh, by by the Eagles. Happy to welcome back Malcolm Jenkins with an interception. Hopefully he's, he's out for the game. Hopefully he's going to be okay after that. So we start out going right back to Smallwood. We have not had a dominant rusher or running game really so far. That's something that we're still trying to work on. Play action. We get taken down by Anthony Barr. What an athletic play. He dove like halfway across the screen, took us down. And Sproles gets the first down on third and 11. We love him in the passing game. Uh, you know, he got crazy hands. He gets open all the time. So first and 10, and they're sending a blitz. And we have the, oh, what is going on? I don't know if we were passing the tight end or the fullback, but uh, it was a miss on both. We get taken down. Man, Venezuela Vikings really has the pressure coming on. Uh, third and 19. Can we do a better job? Try to fit it in there, and we don't. Wish tried to fit it in for the first down, and he gets picked off by the Vikings. First and 10. Let's see. Can they finally get back into the game? They try to start off with eight. They're really still trying to work, get AP going, which is good. Don't give up on the running game when you get down early. Still got to keep, keep, keep people. Uh, it's, oh, whoa. It's a little ball physics there. Thought we going to get a pick. Third and five. Send the blitz, and we bring him down, and we take him down on the blitz on now a fourth down and up the game is paused uh, might be making some uh some changes uh try to give my opponent a little bit of time to make whatever change need to make as far as uh quarterback maybe goes oh wait wow conceded the game really i didn't do people do that in cfms this is this is not a head-to-head -head matchup what so that is it for the week. He conceded the game, so we're back to the main screen. Let's check out some of the stats from that game. Um, it really, really only two quarters of play. I mean, the third quarter was we were so early in the third quarter. I think we only had one possession. So uh, we really outgained the opponent. Um, one of the biggest things is turnovers. Uh, we really tried to limit the turnovers there. We had that one uh, pick that really was a force. I mean, you know, a lot of times people blame the quarterback for the, the you know the actual but it's, it's it's yourself man most of the picks you throw is a force or a bad throw bad decision so uh didn't have a really great game winston really didn't have a great game he played good defense it was more of the defensive you know uh giving us short fields and let's mix it in but i mean not a great game for wits but i mean who knows he could have had a great second half but we'll never know for sure uh so we have smallwood had a good guards arch you know average yards for carry uh so maybe he will be the starter that we're looking for Let's see, Matthews, always always a threat there. And Ertz, one of our favorite targets, with two touchdowns on three receptions. And you see Rudolph was a, a beast for him, but really most of that was on that one run where he basically ran my whole entire uh, team off, took team over there. Uh, and so let's see what else we got here. Uh, Matthews, Sproles, Sproles had that one catch. Uh, Beckham, uh, DGB totally shut out there in this game. But, you know, for me, I never forced anything to any one receiver. So sometimes some guys are going to have big games. And other times, uh, guys, you don't expect to have big games. I mean, whoever's open, I really don't try to force it to anybody. So uh, we have uh, Brandon Graham. Let's see who has some sacks. Only one sack from Jalen Watkins there. Good thing I signed him to that contract before the game. And Xavier Gooden, three interceptions. I think he's actually one of the top guys in picks in the league. He had three in the first half. I mean, who knows? He might have had another three in the second half. We could we could have broke the NFL record, but I guess we'll never get that chance. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video here. Smash that like button you did. Subscribe for more Madden 17 and our Eagles franchise here at Sports Gamers Online. This is The Natural. I'm out.